What is up, Sea Army Summer here every time short and yeah um a weird setup today. Hello. Um yeah, I just wanna do this um I don't know, kind of like a show off kind of video. Um yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys my comic book collection. And um yeah, it's kind of a weird setup. Right now I'm just staring at my chair and how Ew, filthy it is. Dog hair. Normally I would have a sheet covering this, but sadly my dog just I'm sorry to pee on it, so, um, yeah. Hopefully you guys can hear me out right. I've recorded my audio separately, so hopefully there won't be any sinkage is issue and some other stuff. I'm kind of, like, at an angle right now, and hopefully the camera's okay. Uh, nope, uh, well, okay, whatever. <laughs> kind of a weird video, kind of a weird setup, and I really wish I could sit down. Uh, how about I just kneel down and, uh, try not to, uh, mess with the angles. It's good. I think it's at uh, like a slight angle. If it is, I do. So sorry. Uh, uh, is that good? I know you can still see some more dog hair, but whatever. Oh boy. By the way, it's hot. I'm not having my fan on because fan the fan will mess with the recording. But anyway, yeah, how about I just start off with by showing you guys the uh, heavy binders? <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, I hope I didn't break anything. Uh, yeah, like. Um, most of the comics, uh, this is the heaviest one, by the way. Yeah, most of them are, are in this one. The black one. Oh, boy. Ugh. Old man noises. So, um, oh, crowd the chair. Yeah, there we go. Chair, chair, there we go. Uh, yeah, I guess I can show you guys some some of the comics I have, some of the, that's my microphone there, some of the, um, maybe some stories I have. That I remember when I got these comics and stuff. So, anyway, um. Let's just start off with the um, red binder because it got the le the least mount in there, and um, I got these um, Batman v Superman like kind of small itty bitty little comics. Okay, uh, this is a very weird setup I have. I'm gonna have to like try to figure out some figure out something in the future, because right now I'm recording my tablet. My tablet's resting on my bed. It might be at a slight angle. If it is, again, sorry. But yeah, I got these from um, I think my mom got them from work one time and just. Gave it to me. I think these came from a cereal box. And yeah, they're like, um, just little comics and... Uh, try to frame everything. So yeah, little... Little comics. And, um... I got these from, um... Well, obviously you guys gonna figure it out when I... Show you the, whatchamacallit, the... Covers. I got these from GameStop and I just took it out of the plastic, which probably was a bad idea. Actually, you know what, let's just keep them in the plastic. Uh, get back in the plastic. Get back in the plastic, okay. Oh boy. Note to self, don't take these out of the plastic. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to cover up the rip marks on the plastic. But yeah, I got these from GameStop um, with my dad, like, before he passed away. And um, yeah, th they're the um, all-new yeah, I want to say these are the all-new, all-different, um, the Uncanny Avengers. With Deadpool, Spider-Man, Steve Rogers, uh, Rogue, uh, Miss Katfudu or whatever, Quicksilver, and, um, I don't remember her name. Again, hopefully everything's, like, in frame. I, I don't know. Another all-new, all-different, this is the Invincible Iron Man, again, GameStop exclusive. And I didn't really read all these, um, so, yeah. Anyway, here's another one, Guardians of the Galaxy. So, I didn't even know that um, the thing actually joined the Guardians, by the way. That's new to me. I knew Venom joined. Uh, there's Venom. But, um, yeah. So, there's the um, GameStop one. This one came with, like, a um, some Marvel Legends or something. Um, Secret Wars, which I haven't really got to yet. I wish it come, I wish it, um, this one also has, like, a plastic cover for them. Uh, it doesn't, though. But, uh, yeah. There's some of the... Um, other ones, and um, let me just put some of this back in the binder. Okay, everything's good. Okay, it's like there we go. Now a lot of these other ones I got from a flea market a long time ago. Uh, this one is on Weave World and uh, hold up, uh, censorship. There we go. Uh, yeah, Weave World. It frame frame. There we go. Okay. And yeah, I haven't even read this one yet either. I read some of it, and um, I don't remember anything about it. It's been a while since I read it. I got a lot of comic books to 
read and oh some of these I don't even want to take out the plastic because it's like because um how damaged they are but some of these are like the old ones I guess it's probably um okay looks like I got a little bit of um looks like someone was smoking around this one though if I flip the pages but anyway um DC strange sport oh god that has like a weird smell to it but yeah DC's um strange sports and I got a couple of these too so um yeah um, as you can tell like they're very yellow looking I mean these are old uh, frame better. But yeah, these are like old comics too, so I guess it's like yellowing to them. Like her. Uh, get back in there. Okay, okay, now my back's starting to hurt. Ooh, this is bad. Bad angle. Anyway, another strange sports, this time featuring the devil. Yeah, a little bit of tearage going on that one. It's like ripping a little bit. You got a leprechaun there, there or it's like a gnome or something. Be yeah, another strange sports one, more yellow page, yellowing of the pages. Um, I got like a Thor one. I got, I think I got a couple of Thor ones actually. Um, just put that back. Oh God, my back. Oh boy. So this is how it feels when I'm 50, huh? Anyway, here's, <laughs> here's like a Thor one. Uh, frame the Almighty Thor. Okay, I'm just gonna put that there. Um, here's another Thor one. Um, yeah, I'm kind of scared to like take this out of the thing, but, um, oh gosh, missing the pack, I never realized that, but yeah, it's missing the pack of it, um, yeah, the Almighty Thor, it's, like, very torn up, I got it, I got it like that, so, um, yeah, but yeah, as you can tell, it's, like, the Thor, um, oh, it's actually got the, approved by the Comics Code, oh, yeah, the, um, Seduction of the Innocence thing, I completely forgot about that, where comic books have to be censored. Oh yeah, this is like a weird, kind of a weird one how this one is. Oh boy, okay, yeah, this one's, oh, gotta be careful with this one. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, this one's like very torn up though. It's like an evil Knievel or that might be an advertisement. Uh, actually, yeah, what comic is this? OMAC, One Man Army Corpse. Right there. Uh, okay. So yeah, I think the... Evil Knievel thing was just an advertisement. Anyway, let's just put this one back in the cover. Very gentle-like. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, I might have to do that off camera. Okay, here's like a Tales... Oh, God. Another very torn up one. But anyway, Tales of uh, Suspense featuring Iron Man and Captain America. Another flea market one. Not a lot of stories go on with these ones. Once I got from flea market, I just bought them. They were like... I got this entire um, red binder for like 30 bucks. I don't know if it's worth it or not. Um, I looked up like the, how much these comics worth and I forgot the price. So yeah, if you guys are, um, you guys know anything about comics, uh, tell me if it was like worth it buying this, even though it's like all torn up, a lot of these are. But anyway, here's a Daredevil one. The Man with No Fear. Oh, Man Without Fear. Sorry, should read more. Uh, here's another Tales of Suspense featuring Captain America and Iron Man, and, um, oh wow, yeah, this one's all torn up as well. Okay, I'm just going to put this back gently over here. Okay, and we got, like, another Captain America one, just Captain America this time. Uh, gotta be extremely careful with this one. Wow, that's very brown pages. Like, the pages aren't yellow, they're brown in this one. But yeah, here's like another Captain America one. Again, 30 bucks. You guys tell me if it's worth it or not. And I got some uh, new mutant ones, which I have not taken out the plastic this time. Oop. Okay. Everything just fall, fell. Okay. Just move these aside. Here's like, oh, censorship. YouTube. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to really censor there. But yeah, here's new mutants. Uh, where's the number? February 12, 60 cents. He has new mutants. If you guys can like see that, got a little Spider-Man head right there. My knees are killing me. Uh, Marvel Comics Group: The New Mutants again. It's Silver Samurai. Here's another New Mutants. Huh, this one's actually huh. person who um put these in a in a plastic sleeves put this in wrong. Yeah, here's another New Mutants. Ooh, Black Suit Spider-Man there. Okay. 
uh, my knees are extremely painful right now. Here's more new mutants. Okay. And Key Pride and Wolverine. Here you go. Got like a weird devil guy right there. Okay. And just gently place this back. I've got to put these in the sleeves later. Time for the big boy comic books now. Ugh. Now these ones, I, if I remember right, have um, stories to them. Uh, personal stories, I know. Of course they have stories to them, the comic books, but like personal stories to me. So yeah, here's Marvel Zombies. Now my brother got this to me, um, gave this to me like a long time, long time ago, but yeah, here's like first page. Uh, and there's like um, some cool prints on the back. Uh, uh, here's just an example. And yeah, if you don't know me, I do love zombies. And seeing like superheroes turn into zombies, that's cool. Um, which reminds me, I need to look for some Blackest Nights um, comics stuff. So yeah, so um, yeah, my brother got me this like like I said a long time. Oh, a piece of comic book right there. Oh, if you guys can see, it's like a green comic. Oh, never mind. Yeah, like a little piece of paper from a comic book. Uh, camera right there. Okay, yeah, but yeah, my brother gave me that a long time ago. Like I said, I keep repeating myself. I do apologize. But yeah, because um, I was searching for this like a long. I was searching for it and could never find it. My brother found it. I don't know where he found it at, but yeah, it's awesome. By the way, it's a good read. I do recommend uh, Marvel Zombies. Not for the kids, though. It's definitely not for the kids. Um, we got Annual Deadpool. Now, uh, let's see which one is this. Okay, it's part two or three. I don't have um part one or part three. But yeah, here's Annual Deadpool though. Again, it's pretty good. Got Deadpool going to like a different universe. And um. Uh, uh, there was like a green Deadpool, which wasn't really Deadpool, but was um, Doctor Doom. Because in this universe, uh, there's uh, his name is Deathwish. But in this universe, uh, Doctor Doom was Deathwish and Deadpool was Dead Mask. Something like that, anyway. Here's another Deadpool comic. Again, like a multi parter comic, and I don't have the other parts to it. But it has Evil Deadpool in it, and Evil Deadpool is cool. He has like a backwards left arm. He has two left arms. Yeah, yeah left arms, right? But anyway, he's 100% more evil. Ooh. Um, here's like a... Um, I got these, um... By the way, I got these, um, Deadpool comics in Christmas. A while back, here's like another Christmas one I have. Which I got on Christmas as well. Marvel Holiday Special. Um... Here's like a... If I can get this out. Like an old Spawn comic that came with like a toy a while back. And you can see like the other toys in it too. I, I think it came with this one. I also had this one too, but I lost comic and the figure broke like a long time ago. And I also lost this toy too. Uh, uh comic, don't bend. And I also lost this thing too a while back. Uh, oh well. But yeah, it's, you know, it's like a kid, like a watered down version of Spawn basically for kids. Uh, here's one I got off a, um, a website. It's like a Batman Superman comic. It's part two. Again, don't have the other parts. But yeah, it got like Batman for the zombies in it, so of course I needed to buy it. Actually, I think it got for free. Yes, wait. Yeah, I got for free on. I think the website was like Listia or something. Um, I think it got free because like you know you can get stuff free, but um, you have to like get points or whatever by selling or buying points or or selling um stuff. But anyway, here's like an X Men comic thing. I think this also came with like a figure or maybe like. Promote it because these are like the um, movie costumes. I think it's like either came with like the um, a movie of the um, X Men or came with figures. I don't really know. Got the Ultimate X Men comic um, advertisement right there in the back. Okay, and my knees are extremely painful, so let's try to hurry this up. How long have I been recording for? Is this still recording? Yes, uh, 14 minutes. Okay, here's um another thing that my brother gave me a while back. After Watchmen, what's next? It's like a, um, it's more so a magazine, really, than a comic. It just says what they're going to do after the Watchmen. Um, here's one I got at a flea market again. I need, uh, I bought this a while back, and over the years, it kind of disintegrated. So I ended up having to tape some of it together. So yeah, it's the the Amazing Scarlet Spider. It's Cyber War Part Two of Four. And um, yeah. Scarlet Spider, Ben Riley, not the Kane Spider. Uh, here's like a Superman comic, which, um, oh, when did I get this? 
Okay, I want to say uh, my mom got this, like, for me and my brother a while back. Or probably for my brother and he gave it to me. I don't remember, actually, when I got this. I know my mom got it from her work or something. But, yeah, it's a Superman comic. Okay. Got, like, um, a game advertisement on the back. Ooh, PlayStation. Like, the original PlayStation. PlayStation. No, PlayStation 2. Okay. And game... Got the GameCube. Wow, I feel old now. Wow, okay. But, yeah, it's Superman. Um, this one a friend of mine gave to me, and uh, it's like disintegrating. It's Spider-Man Classic. It has like um, it has uh, Mace Fantasy number fifteen, Mace Spider-Man one, two, three, and uh, yeah, it's a, it basically got like the um, first four Spider-Man stories in it. But yeah, here's the Amazing Fantasy number fifteen, kind of disintegrating as well. Uh, here's a Fantastic Four comic that I got from um, the flea market again. But the funny thing is, I don't know why. It's kind of weird though, but... Okay, so here's a comic. Okay, it has no cover. But that's because the cover fell off when I got it. And this is the right cover too, by the way. But the problem is, though, the cover opens up like this. So, I can't really fit the comic in like that because... That's not how comic books work. Because it's supposed to open up this way, but this is the cover. So I ended up having to, like, put the comic in backwards. So, um, yeah, if anybody knows why that, why that is, um, let me know. Uh, anyway, ooh, another one I got at the flea market, actually. Uh, okay, I gotta fix this. Binder issue I'm having. Okay, uh, okay. Okay, I gotta open up this binder now. Okay, so, um, here's, like, another... Another one I got at Flea Market. I never opened this one, actually. Um, it's like a Superman comic, though. He doesn't have his cape on, though. I don't know why. I Again, I never opened this one. So, yeah, here's another Daredevil one I got at Flea Market. Uh, there we go. Uh, Daredevil, the man without fear. Uh, again, never open. Here's like an old Marvel comic. Uh, Two-Gun Kid. Does it have the date on it? it? Just says January 108, 20 cents. Uh, try and put it in frame for you guys. The Rawhide Kid. Oh, it's guest starring the Rawhide Kid. Um, yeah, I don't know when this came out. I mean, if you guys, like, have any details on when all these comics came out, especially, like, the um, really old ones, like the Weird Sports ones, and, again, Two Gun Kid, let me know. Um, here's a Black Cat one. Again, I got flea market, never open. Uh, here's a uh, Captain America, uh, Captain America one. So yeah, never open. Lego. Okay. I just realized it's gonna be a pain to put all these back. Am I still recording? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Uh, radioactive man. <laughs> um, yeah, Simpsons. I love Simpsons. Um. I don't really know which Radioactive Man this one is. Radioactive Man 3, probably. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, here's Radioactive Man. Uh, let's say... The stunning saga of triumph and tragedy, Dark Radioactive Man. <clears throat> uh, here's one. Um, it's Marvel Comics. It's the amazing adventure of Kill Raven. I never heard of this one. A lot of these comics I've never heard of. Did someone put a marker on this one? Or is that just a bet? No, it's on the comic. Huh. It got like a 10 on it or something. You guys can see that. Or a P. I don't know what that is, but okay. Um, we got the Punisher. Uh, okay, yeah. The Punisher. Make sure it's not attached to anything else. It's extremely damaged right there. It's can tell from the spine. If I can show you guys. Right there. Right there. Spine. Yeah, it's the Punisher. Uh, Marvel Comics, of course. Uh, here's another Captain America one. I just realized I have a lot of Captain America comics. Uh, am I still recording? Yes, I am. So, yeah, here's Captain America. <clears throat> Marvel Tales featuring Spider-Man. Uh, Hobgoblin right there. You got Norman Osborn with his weird... Very weird haircut. Uh, you got Spider-Man right there, and... It looks like the Todd McFarlane Spider-Man, Maybe? I don't know, I got to, I don't want to open this up, though. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but that looks like Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man. And I don't really see the um, 
artist on here. I guess that's supposed to be inside the pages then. Uh, okay, we got the Avengers. Um, which one is this? Continuing the 30th anniversary celebration of the Avengers. A vision something revealed. Yeah, here's uh, that one. Okay, we got Geoforce, Blue Devil, and Robin. DC comic. Uh, we got Star Wars Droids. Which I think also had an animated series as well. Uh, made by Dark Horse Comics, if you guys can see that. I think Dark Horse um, did Hellboy, maybe? But yeah, um, Droids. But speaking of which, I rated R Hellboy. That does sound good. If you guys don't want to talk about it, then Google it. Uh, here's X-Men Adventures Season 2. Basically based off the animated series, I'm guessing, of the 90s. My knees are seriously losing blood. Okay. Here's another X-Men one. The official Marvel Index to X-Men. So I don't really think it's a comic, more so just a, um, you know, saying what the X-Men is, what they do. Here is Captain Marvel. Now... I give you guys a hint which Captain Marvel it is. It's one that won the lawsuit. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Captain Marvel, the Marvel comics, not the DC. Here's a Batman comic. Uh, Batman uh, Nightfall. Yeah, Nightfall uh, has a number one there, so I'm guessing like the first Nightfall comic. So yeah, Batman Nightfall, number one right there. So I guess it is the first comic. I haven't opened a lot of these, so... Uh, so I can like just keep the what you call the value. Here's like Batman the um and Batman the the Batman Adventures based off the animated series. So yeah, there you go. Okay, we are running down on the last few. Uh, am I still recording? Okay. So we got Guy Gardner. Uh, he has a Sinestro ring by the looks of it. I don't remember him joining the Sinestro Corps. Oh, and here's Lobo. So, um, yeah. Uh, next up we got Star Trek. Uh, come on. Okay. Star Trek The Next Generation. Picard must kill a tyrant to save the lives he... To save the life of his crew. I thought that said to save the lives that he screwed or whatever. But yeah, here it is. Star Trek. The Next Generation. Made by DC. Huh. I didn't know that. I didn't know DC made um, Star Trek comics. Okay, so next up we got The Mighty Thor. Here it is. Now, there's two versions of this. Got the um, holographic cover, or whatever, like the shiny cover. That's just a normal cover. I think the cover, the shiny one is um, is the most sought after or something. But anyway, here is the Invaders. Okay, and that's all the comics. Now I need to stand up, stretch my legs out. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, that's all the comics I had. Now I used to have more, but during the Years and like I said in one of my other videos, I was very young when I had when I first started collecting comics. So yeah, they didn't really stand the test of times too well. So yeah, this is all the comics I have left now, and I think I have more somewhere. Anyway, guys, that's just going to do it for right now. So anyway, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and I'll talk to you next time. Don't forget to ring the link that subscribe bell so you know if I for future uploads. And here we're signing out. See ya.